Welcome, everyone, and what's up? It's Josh. Welcome back. Today we are reacting to uh, Young Justice episode four and five. Um, in the last three episodes, uh, we saw um, Connor, Miss Martian, Beast Boy, and Martian Manhunter they travel to Mars to get married, um, and then basically Martian Manhunter tried to Zeta back to the um, Justice League Watchtower, it blew up and it's been this massive scandal we've tried to explore for the last couple of episodes. We've seen the introduction of the Legion of Superheroes, although they haven't outright said that's what it is, but it is what it is. Um, we've got a lot of racism between the different colours, Martians, and I'm hoping in these next two episodes we actually do begin to see the wedding because I think it was the day before in the one in the last one we saw. So it's not too far away now um without further ado we're gonna get into it if you guys enjoy remember to like and subscribe and let's go are you okay not really it's very hard to lose her but i understand her decision and i'll be fine it's gonna be weird with a new bio shit Having the old one since the start has been like a staple of the series and I've got the new one. It's going to be mad. Who is that? It's really winding me up. I've seen her in the shadows for the last couple of episodes and we have no idea who they are. Come to fight. I came to apologise. What? When I went to Earth, I never should have left you behind. I'm truly sorry, Macomb. Damn. Her whole speech with her sisters really got her fucked up. I agree with it, though. Like, it was, it was nice to see, like, the contrast from the older sister to Megan, from Megan to him. It, it's, it's so strange to think... Fat Mars has always been like this bad and the racism's been like affected them all. And when Megan left, he was the only one of a family other than the father to be a white Martian, so the light of love. You honor us with such a beautiful blessing, Syrah. Thank you. I it's so weird, like I I picked up I didn't mention it but I picked up on it the last three episodes that when they're talking, their mouths don't move. Like they, oh, you'll see, because it's all psychic, and it's just, it's just really odd to watch. It makes her happy, but uh, maybe that's not the problem. No. It hurts that I won't be able to share this day with my father. Don't worry. We'll... Damn, Connor, you spoke too much, man. These are adult concerns. I would not expect a child to understand. I am Prince of the Realm. Do not tell me what I do and do not understand. Yo, I want these two to fight. The fucking advisor guy's been a dick the whole season. And by the whole season, I mean the first three episodes. But, like, it needs to be smacked in the face. Garoons would never believe a Garoon killed the king. Then why tell us now? Because she is one of us. Damn. So deep, man. The racism in this. I know I've said it so many times, but, like, it's fucked. But it's, it's cool that one of the, um, the green ones turn into a white one to get into the castle. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names because I know I'm going to get... It's Arshen and Garoon. Is that right? I'll try it, but I'm going to default to green and white. And we've got a match on her magic residue. So, it was you. No, 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 I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I... Damn. Well, I didn't see that coming. Shit. Oh, the turntables. How the turntables. The priestess killed the king. Fuck. Oh, God. I knew we could never be truly intimate again psychically. So I took the yellow 
knowing that sorcerer priests and priestesses lead celibate, solitary lives. Um, cool motive. Still murder. I know how to make a speech. Stay alert. Don't forget why we're here. My eyes are opening to these words of common sense. This dialogue will continue. Damn. The prince. Prince to love. Big up the prince. The other advisor guy needs, needs to be locked up. He's fucked up in the head. It Fliega here, finally. Everyone, you must evacuate the arena, now! Bro, why did you stand in there? They said, my guard said evacuate. Why are our parents just watching like a bunch of dickheads? He, he's fine. He, he'll, he'll pop up any minute now. The explosion can't kill super- I can't feel his mind touch. I can't feel his mind touch! Can't. He's not going to be dead, surely not, right? I can't handle it if he is. No, kryptonite traces it in the air. We all must leave this place. But, Connor... We all must leave this place now! Um... Her brother laced the bomb of kryptonite so Connor couldn't... Well, Connor did, but it killed him. Please, 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 please. I'm sorry, McCann. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, fuck. This is so deep, man. The Legion of Superheroes have got to save him, right? That's why they were here. Surely, surely that's the answer. The Legion of Superheroes saved him. I hope so. <laughs> the worst fucking end credit scene ever. We got three amazing ones and then that was just heartbreaking. They can't do this. They can't leave it on a cliffhanger. And bring us back to Earth for an episode so they, they can hide away the fact if Connor's alive or dead or not. I'm not having it. It's going to piss me off. Professor Crack? Oh, the bishop! Bishop Mario no. said it to Jean Valjean! <laughs> <laughs> now, who the fuck is he and what does he think he's doing? I'm not having that. Dick. Calder. What is it? Who? It's Connor. Fuck's sake, this girl's been through enough, man. She's been through too much. Oh. This is so deep. First time we get to see these characters properly and they're telling them, it's the episode where they tell them Connor's dead. Five minutes later. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not by it. Let's get back to it. The original team. Fuck's sake, man. This genuinely like breaks my heart. And some things you can never get over. <sighs> I better leave before I start sobbing. Hey, nothing wrong with. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this episode, okay? But we're gonna try.
I know what works for me, what helps me through the grief. Hitting criminals over the head with a bow staff? <laughs> Helping. <laughs> yeah, that's what helps me too. Why is everyone being fucking followed? What's the, what's the trend of this? No one asked you. Watch it! Damn. So you got Arrowhead and a, I think that's the original Roy Harper. Um, but where's Artemis gone? That's the question I've got. Is she going to like, suit up and then kick her ass too? And who is she? Is probably a better question. My home! You broke the rules. Oh. Makes me want to break some rules too. Damn. <sighs> Shit's getting deep again. <laughs> Hell would have to freeze over. Well, as a matter of fact, you might want to break out your mittens. I'll only need the one, thanks. <laughs> That's fucking deep. That's like a, the same thing um, Slade did to Ravenger in Titans when he took out her eye. Just so that the Titans would believe that they were fighting. That sensei. I taught you many things, Jade Wen. Foolishness is not one of them. This isn't the act of a fool. Damn. Damien Wayne and Jason Todd. Oh. The series about to be amazing, isn't it? You came here to die. Come back when you are ready to live. Damn. A lot's happened. We just had Jason Todd and Damien Wayne show back up after a season. Um, they popped up in the first few episodes of last season. And what else happened? Oh, the, the Daughter Savage and Onyx, um, who I think are both playing for League, if I'm honest. I don't think either of them are telling the truth. Um, I'm trying to convince them that they're good, but I don't believe that for a second. Property damage! Shadow noodle trucks don't count. Sniper! Oh. Damn. <laughs> This fight's been pretty sick. It's like the most action we've got so far, so I'm so here for it. Keep the pen. Compliments of bow hunter security. Our number's right on there. I guess that answers the age old question. It's the pen might have and the sword. Sorry, I had to pull it in there. I had to mention it. There's even a chance one of them or both is telling the truth. We have to protect her. Or them. You get the idea. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Such a good episode. I'm upset that we're not seeing more of Mars, although I'm happy with a kind of happy for change at the same time. But an Artemis centric episode is definitely what I needed in my life. But Leanne's fine. She's upstairs asleep. Then why did you call me? I didn't. I did. Damn, she played her own game. I see that I hold a sanctuary in their hearts and in the hearts of their descendants, generations hence. I see her, an old woman, weeping for me on the anniversary of this day. Um, that was an emotional quote to end on. <laughs> well, well, well. What an ending to those two episodes, eh? Connor's dead. Cheshire's back. Cassandra Savage and Onyx have both apparently betrayed the League and the Light. There's a lot going on. I don't really know how to feel. The Connor Memorial really fucked me up. But yeah. Two very good episodes. I'm feel feeling sorry for McGann and Artemis and just the whole original Young Justice team. It's, it's rough. I'm excited for next week. 
I'm gonna do these every two weeks, which is gonna kill me because I want not I just wanna watch it more and more. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what your predictions are for next week. Let me know what you thought of these episodes in the comments below. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.